Hello children. Today we are going to start new chapter in social science. Chapter number 50, Government. So first, everybody try to understand what is government. In this chapter, we are going to study about the government, types of government, levels of government on which our country works. So here, first of all, as you know that our India is a diverse country. And our country, India, is the largest democracy in the world. Yes, as you know that we have family. Elders do the administration and the management of our home. Similarly, the administration of the country is done by the government. Yes, in many families you saw. Then they are following the different rules and regulations. They are done different management. Means if we talk about our mother, she handles all the household work like cooking, cleaning, washing, all the things. And if we talk about our father, generally they are doing job, they are doing business, or they handle outside of work. In the same way, here, if we talk about our government, they run very smoothly. They divide their work into different departments. So first of all, we heard the word government in daily newspaper, television, and magazines. Sometimes, we are talking about the government. Government will price rise in the petrol. You heard about the price rise in the coal. Yeah, and many different things in the newspaper. Government is, here we talk about our government. Government is needed to run the administration of the nation and to take decisions. Yes. If we talk about our government, our Indian government, because our country is a diverse country, and for this smooth handle, we form government through the election. So, government work, our government, when we choose our government through the election, government work in the plan way for the development of our country. Keeping constitution. What do you mean by constitution? Constitution means laws, rules and regulation, which is framed by the government. Keeping constitution in mind for the nation, reformation and implementation is done by the government. Yes. Through the election, after the age of 80, citizens, they choose their representative. Why we choose our leader or our representative? Because they work for our government. They work for ourselves. In behalf of citizens, government will handle all the works. Here, the government of our country is elected through voting by the people. Yeah. After every five years, we had election in our country. And in this way, we choose our leaders. In our textbook, they are showing us the different cuttings of paper. Here, also I will show you the paper cuttings. In this paper, seeing the above picture, we can and decision and advertisement of the government. We can get information about various functions of the government by reading daily newspapers and magazines available in the surrounding First of all, you try to understand what is democracy. Democracy means a system in which the government of a country is elected by the people. Yes, in our textbook they give us the definition of democracy. Democracy means of the people, by the people and for the people. Yes, through the election we choose our leader and they work for our country in the planned way. Okay, and they follow all the rules and regulations. In democratic system of government or government, government holds the foremost place. Now we discuss about our country, our government. So in this topic, here our country is a country of diversity. Yes, as you know that it has a unique identity having diversity in religion, in caste, in culture, in language as well as views of economical equality. So our country is the largest democracy in the world with the maximum number of voters. So, due to the vastness and diversity of the country, it is difficult to manage from one thing. That's why our country, 
they divide their work according to the different levels. Okay, after this video, we discuss about after uh, this topic we will discuss about the different levels of the work. That's why government work at various level to administer duty against some problems and difficulties. For solving these problems and difficulty, government divides in different levels. So here local if we talk about the three levels of government first is the local government which runs which takes all the decision in the city and village area second is the state government and third is the central government now central government work in the democratic system of governance now if we talk about in detail of three levels of government first is the local local government which takes the charge of village and cities. Second is the state government. Here we are discussing about state government, which takes the charge of entire state, like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan. And if we talk about central government, which takes the charge of entire nation. If we talk about our India, from the and from our capital, like uh, our capital is the Delhi, New Delhi. From New Delhi, we take the charge of entire nation. Government is necessary at various levels. This phase of governance are very useful for formation and implementation of rules. Yes, in our constitution, we frame different rules and regulation. Everybody, every citizen as well as government officers, the couples will follow this rules and regulations. We have learned about government and its various levels. These levels are useful for development and maintenance of laws and orders. Democratic system has been adopted in our country. If we talk about various countries of the world, they have a different system of government. They follow the different rules and regulations. But if we talk about our India, in India, government will follow democratic system for smooth handling. In the context of government and governance, Depending on its structure, variations are seen in the government system. So now, after this point, we will discuss about types of government. In types of government, first of all, we discuss about there are three types of government in the world. First is a democratic government. A second point is a communist government. It's a mixed type of government. And the third one is the monarchy. So, in detail, let's start discussing about the types of government. Our country has a democratic system of governance. All the countries in the world do not have a democratic system. Yes, according to our family, as you know that, we manage our family in a different way. We have a different rules and regulations, same like us. In all the countries, you saw different kinds of government. They follow the different rules and regulations, different norms. So let us understand the types of government found in the various systems operating in countries around the world. So our first topic is democratic government. So here, in the system of government, people elect their representative through voting. Yes, through the election after the age of 18 years. We choose our representative. We choose our leader through election. So the government is formed by the winning candidate. Yes, we choose a party, different parties, different leaders. They form a different parties like Congress, Bhajya, Shiv Sena, Bharti Janta Dal Party, Aap. And these are the different examples of parties. So government function keeping the public in the center in the democracy. And after that, they form a different department and this department provides us various functions and facilities. Like they provide us uh, free of cost education. Educational departments are there. Government will provide us education up to the age of 14 years, free of cost, free and compulsory education. Then uh, if you talk about, uh, if we talk about healthcare department, so which provide us medicines, uh, medicinal properties, uh, medicinal facilities. Then, if we talk about the sanitization department, which cleans our road, 
then transportation department, road and construction department. So different department, they provide us various facilities. So here, local government, state government and central government are formed through the election. In some countries, here we observe that chief minister or a prime minister is elected by the elected representative in democracy. In some countries of the world, presidential democracy is seen. In India, there is a parliamentary democracy. Yes. In India, we observe that Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha is there. Rajya Sabha is called as the upper house and Lok Sabha which is called as the lower house or a Sansan Bhatt. Now, it, uh, it is said that democracy, that government is run by the people directly or indirectly. What is mean by directly or indirectly? Through election means when we choose our leaders through the election, they take decisions in behalf of general citizens of the country. They take decision for the welfare of the country and the people. There is no alternative of democratic for protection and promotion of human rights. Thus, democratic Government is very important for all, all round development and rights of the people. In democratic government, people play an important role. Yes, we choose our leader and these leaders, they run, they done their job, they do their job or uh, they work for the welfare of our country with rules and regulation. They follow our constitution. Government also work for the people. The tenure of election or elected government is in our country is five years. Yes, after every five years, we choose our representative. Means again we had elections. A second point is communist government. In this government, the government working on the basis of communism. Communism manager manage, manages the system of government. On the basis of equality and similarity. Yes, this is the another kind of government. In this type of government, the importance of equality and similarity is given to all. In many countries of the world, government working on the ideology of communism is seen. What is mean by ideology? Means here also they follow some rules and regulations according to their rulers or their leaders. In some countries of the world, communist government is formed through election. There are also, you saw election is also there. There are many examples of some rulers forming a government based on communist ideology and becoming the sole ruler. Sole ruler means a, a one ruler who form some rules and regulations with elected leaders. They form government and they work on the welfare of the country. Here, if we talk about India, you saw there is a two types of government. Public, you saw public property is also there and private property is also there. Means, if we talk about bus stand, railway station, this is a public property, collector house and different offices. This is a government office, uh, government property. But if we talk about private property, it's a sole proprietorship. Here, you saw some shops, some people they are doing a business, different kind of business. This, this is called as a private property. Now, the administration and the government is done considering the economical, ideological and intellectual equality among workers. Here, in many countries, you saw only public properties are there. Government is not allowed to take private shops and business. So now, here if we talk about today, some rulers who rule individually or possibly have left communism and adopt monarchy or dictatorship. And this communist ideology is known as the world as the leftist ideology or debris ideology. So here we are talking about this kind of government. Here rules as well as some elected rulers they form government. After that we are talking about monarchy. In this type of government any one person any one person governs as a ruler. Governs means they form they govern means they are the ruler as a they done all the 
jobs a single person generally the title of ruler is inherited inherited means yeah after the ruler the son becomes the next ruler and in this way the before independence in india we observe monarchy is there so people do not have right to choose their rulers in this type of government today monarchy is said in some countries of the world generally nation countries like a ua you observe that that is a monarchy type of government at some places in monarchy elections are also held for the need sake in monarchy the ruler takes the decision keeping in the center yes all the decisions which is taken by the ruler the decision taken by the one person here is considered as the final decision emphasis is placed on the well being and convenience of the ruler rather than the people yes if we compare with a more if we compare with a democratic government here in center is the public or the citizen yes government work for the people but here if we talk about monarchy government we generally focus the ruler they take their own decision they can't get the opinions of the general public or citizen so in this part we will discuss about three types of government here we discuss about the value of democracy we have seen the rules is carried out at a different level like local level state level and central level it's a national level so if we talk about democratic government democracy functions for the upliftment of the living standard and well being of the people or the citizens so here people and their need are kept in the center why planning for the future yes development the government will launch different types of programs there are different functions for the future development of the child or of the citizen democratic rulers govern the government so that the people cast their vote in their favor here if we talk about the democratic values so the democratic values are preserved on the basis of constitution yes as you know that already govern government will frame some rules and regulations the star constitution and according to our constitution we follow the print rules and regulations development and well being of the people are given important in democratic government so the government must make plans and scheme to ensure equality security and convenience to everybody here if we talk about our constitution in our constitution we frame our government will frame some rules and regulation and everybody should follow this regulation it is compulsory to follow this kind of rules and regulation which is followed by the which is framed by the government now our next point is the government and laws framing of laws is the work of government all should follow the laws when is it when is laws a important place for working of government government has power to amend amend is some changes sometimes what happened government will change some rules and regulation according to the time amend the laws among with their implementations people can challenge the government laws and people can seek cooperation of court for their right and again injustice done to them yeah this is a democratic type of government and people when citizens they feel insecure in our country at that time they raise their voice they went to court for their justice okay so in the context of the laws or procedures of the government when people feel that they are not implemented properly they can raise their voice in the court and the court may suggest or order the government for various issues where if ever the need is felt 
yes court will run court will give them justice when people are feeling insecure okay now so in this chapter we discuss about the functions of the government different levels of the government types of the government as well as here we discuss about the values of the democracy yes our country is a democratic country and in this country we study about the values of the democratic government and the government and the different laws and the rules and regulations which is framed by the government i hope 